It's video time with me. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my Sonical headphones and my Luca wig, admittedly, because I don't have a Sonical wig. But the reason why I'm wearing what resembles Sonical is because I actually wanted to talk about cosplay in this video. See, um, not gonna mention names, but I had a conversation with someone who didn't feel very good at their cosplay. So I kind of just felt inspired to make this video and I'm sorry for my laundry in the background. It's just towels and um, pillowcase, so that's fine. So yeah, this video is about improvement. Everyone improves. It's just something we do. Whether it's um, learning to play an instrument, uh, video editing, whatever. Anything and everything that you have to learn how to do, it, you eventually improve. I mean, for example, um, when I first started cosplaying, I didn't actually cosplay <laughs> properly. Um, how do I explain this? Well, it's not really that hard to explain, but the way I, the, the way I used to cosplay wasn't even really cosplay. Uh, me and my friend would just, you know, turn around and go, oh, today we're cosplaying to Axel and Roxas from Kingdom Hearts, and you know, we didn't. We didn't look like the characters, we weren't wearing waves, we weren't dressed like them, it was just like, oh, we're cosplaying today! <laughs> so yeah, we didn't really cosplay, so yeah. But like, my first ever actual cosplay was Renoa Hartley from Final Fantasy VIII. I will hopefully be editing in a picture, which is probably going to take over this video, because I, I don't know how to get edit it onto the size of me, because I have a really shit editing program for at the moment. But yeah. My first cosplay was Renault Hartley from Final Fantasy VIII. The majority of that costume was bought. Uh, I actually found a blue dress in a charity shop and I just cut up the middle to turn it into a jacket. Um, I already had like a black tank top. Uh, I I had some old school trousers that I didn't wear, any, wear anymore so I, I, I cut the legs off to the, to, to the knees and my mum made me a blue skirt. So if you're watching, thanks mum. Actually, well, my Renault cosplay to my first ever convention, which was Just Nevercon 2010 here in Millsborough. That was a while ago now, which is. Oh wow, that was a while ago. <laughs> I miss Nevercon. That was my first ever cosplay, and as you saw from the picture, it wasn't brilliant. Yes, it looked like the character, but my wig was horrible. It was cheap. It didn't feel nice like this one does. This one feels so nice and silky. The other one just, my Renoa wig, just was absolutely horrible and disgusting and um, it was the dress since I cut up through the middle to make it into the Renoa jacket. It was It was so hideous on the inside where we'd, where I'd sewn it back up. It was just horrible and messy and it was just, ew. You know, it was my first cosplay. I was so proud of it, and to do, and still to this day, I am slightly still proud of it because it was my first. Granted, I didn't really make it. I had the majority of help from my mum. Um, fast forward to this year, actually, uh, I made Hextech Janna from League of Legends. Um, now, admittedly, I didn't make all of this cosplay. I made the staff, the corset thing. It wasn't a proper corset, it was just like some um, artificial leather, you know, so it, it wasn't real leather, it was, it was fake. It was just, I just like sewn it and, and it looked like a corset. It wasn't an actual corset, it just looked like one. And I made like the flowy skirt thingies that Jana wears. And I made a pouch to put my DS and my wallet in because also, she had a pouch. Jana has a pouch in her hex deck form, so I made a pouch. But point being, it looked great. In fact, I even won first place in the general competition for that. I, I, I won a Levi figurine from Attack on Titan and like some nice little goodie bags. Granted, I granted I didn't really make the majority of that cosplay, but can you? But comparing both the images, you can see an improvement. But if you want to get to the point where I actually started sewing, then 
The image I'm about to show you now was the first costume I'd ever made from scratch. Just everything was made from scratch. I made the earpieces that I'm wearing in the costume. I, I made the wings, I made the glove, I made the arm warmer thingies, I, I made the, the gauntlets, the shirt, the skirt, boot covers, socks, everything. I made everything in this. And it's Icarus from Heaven's Lost Property, or if you prefer the Japanese name, Soro no Otoshimono. It was the first costume I'd ever made from scratch, because I kind of had to, because <laughs> I entered the main competition. So 75% of the costume had to be made. And, you know, I wanted to show that I could make something, but point being, comparing Icarus to Renoa, I've improved a lot. I've really improved. I had some awesome cosplayers contribute some of their pictures, their first cosplays and their most recent cosplays. Again, just to show you guys that they've approved and I'm going to show you guys those photos now. See? Everyone improves. It's just a matter of practice, time and dedication. Uh, for example, um, you know those famous cosplayers like Yaya Han, Jessica Negri, Ivy Doom Kitty? There we go. Like, th those three, for example. They all started somewhere. Now look where they are. In fact, Yaya Han herself even admitted that her first cosplays were absolutely shit. It happens. So guys, I know this isn't a very long video explaining any explaining much, but you know, it's at the end of the day, if you want to cosplay, you cosplay. And if you think what you're doing is not good enough, then just keep trying. You'll get better, you really will. I mean, look at me. I only started making my costumes about just nearly two years ago, and I've gotten to where I am now, through practice and repetition. Okay. Um, again, the three cosplay, the three famous cosplayers that I mentioned, Yaya, Jessica, Ivy, they all improved. They really have. So guys, anyone watching this who feels they're not good enough at, what, at their craft, you are. You're just learning right now. You'll always be learning. Just, you really just gotta not beat yourself up so much. Even even I have my days where I don't want to finish the costume I'm doing because I don't know if I'm good enough. But I just, admittedly, I watch Heroes of Cosplay when whenever I need some motivation. I know some people don't like Heroes of Cosplay, then that is completely fine. But every time I watch Heroes of Cosplay and I'm motioning towards my computer, which is right next to me. I always feel motivated and inspired and I can do anything. I honestly feel like I can do anything when I watch Heroes of Cosplay. It's like, uh, that's why I'm on my secret cosplay. It is a huge, huge project for me. It is definitely way more impressive than what I did last year. Well, this year, because it's SonyCon that happened recently. It still, still happened this year, so. <laughs> when I filmed this, it was anyway. Um, so, guys, you'll improve. You really will improve. You just gotta keep trying. You just gotta keep trying, you gotta keep practicing, and it'll pay off. Okay? Good luck with your cosplay, guys. Marshmallow.